Hi, I'm Oliver Ace 24 and you're watching Game Dev Corner. Subscribe for regular videos about making and marketing indie video games. Today, I'm going to talk to you about different engines and different ways that you can make video games without coding. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that if you go down this path, there are plenty of game developers that will literally jump on the opportunity to tell you that making games without coding is cheating. So I just want to say that they're wrong and ignore them. They're just worried because if game development becomes more accessible and more people start to do it, they're worried that it creates more competition for themselves. So if you don't want to learn how to code, but you do want to make video games, I'll talk about how and what you can use to do it. First of all is Unity. And while the editor itself doesn't have a built-in way to code without code, you can go on the asset store and buy one of the visual scripting plugins. So with visual scripting, usually you have lots of little building blocks, and each of those little building blocks has a little bit of code already written. Then you just take those building blocks and put them into a flowchart or diagram. You don't even have to worry about the actual code itself because it gets generated behind the scenes. So for a really quick analogy, you can think of those little bits of code as pieces of Lego. Now all you have to do is take those bits of Lego and build a house. And then when you've finished, you've got a Lego house. Now as long as that Lego house looks like a normal Lego house, nobody is going to care whether you made each one of those individual Lego pieces yourself or you got them like that. I kind of feel like that makes less sense from the actual explanation, but I'll leave it in there anyway. Now, getting back on track, the top visual scripting plugins for Unity are Bolt, Playmaker, Flow Canvas and Gameflow. I actually made Perfect Date in Playmaker inside of Unity, and that's commercially released on Steam and iOS. So you can make full commercial games using visual scripting. Unity can create 2D or 3D games. It's free, but there is a monthly subscription for the Pro option, which is basically the same, except from it has a dark UI skin and it doesn't say Unity at the start of your games. The visual scripting plugins are all paid. Playmaker is currently $65 on the asset store, but it does often have sales. Next is Game Maker Studio 2, which has built-in visual scripting in the form of a drag and drop interface. There are loads of hit indie games that were built using it. Game Maker is primarily focused on 2D games, but it does seem to have support for 3D graphics if you wish to use them. Game Maker is a one-off payment for a permanent license, but there are different options and different prices depending on what platforms you want to release your game on after it's been made. Next is Construct Free, which again has built-in visual scripting in the form of a drag and drop interface. It has a free trial so you can test it out, but the actual product has a monthly subscription fee. Right now, it looks like it's about $10 for the individual tier, and there are different tiers for different team sizes. It's a 2D engine, and it lets you publish your games on mobile, web, and desktop. At the time of recording this video, they mentioned Xbox, but there's no mention of PlayStation or Switch, so just something to keep in consideration. Next is Unreal Engine, which is mostly for 3D games. I had to Google to check if it supports 2D games, which it seems like it does, but there might be limited resources available because not many people seem to be using it for that. In terms of 3D games though, they always seem to look really shiny and visually impressive. I actually don't know if that's because the people using Unreal tend to have more experience or if the default settings straight out of the box already look visually impressive. It has built-in visual scripting in the form of blueprints, which are apparently capable of everything that you could do in code. Code-wise, it uses C++, which I've never used, but it does look, to me, more complicated than C Sharp. Unreal Engine is completely free to use, but when you do ship your game, you have to pay 5% royalties back to Epic, unless you release your game on Epic's new store, because in that case you don't have to pay the royalties, just the normal store cut. Next is Godot, which apparently is pronounced Godo. Go figure, if you see what I did there. Yeah? 
It supports 2D, 3D and is completely free with no royalties and it's actually even open source. It has visual scripting or you can use its own GD script or C++ or C Sharp. I haven't used it myself but it does look very comparable to Unity and the open source side seems pretty intriguing. It supports web, mobile and desktop but it doesn't seem to natively support console. Next is Buildbox and Buildbox 3D. Both engines allow users to make games without code using visual scripting. On their website it does say, for the first time in history create original 3D games without code. Which as you can see from this video is a little bit misleading since there are plenty of other options that did it first. That aside, it does seem to be focused on casual games for mobile. It runs on a monthly subscription fee which ranges from $15 to $99 a month depending on which features you want to use. Next is CryEngine which has a built in visual scripting language called Flowgraph. It looks very similar to Blueprints in Unreal. It's focused on 3D games and it's completely free to use, except when you've shipped your game, after you've earned $5,000, you have to pay 5% royalties to Crytek. Next is Amazon Lumberyard, which is a spin off version of CryEngine built by Amazon. It appears to mostly focus on 3D games as well. They have, however, dropped Flowgraph and they use a new visual scripting called Script Canvas. The other advantage over CryEngine is that it's completely free and you don't pay any royalties back to Amazon. It only costs money if you choose to use the other Amazon services within your game. I've obviously missed some game engines out of this video, but in conclusion, most modern game engines offer some form of visual scripting. So if you want to make a game but you don't want to code, there are actually quite a lot of options as to which tools you can use to do it. Now since I've made the jump from visual scripting to coding, I would say that coding isn't as difficult as it seems. But if you're learning how to code at the same time as learning how to make a game, at the same time as learning how to use a game engine, it does get a little bit overwhelming. So using visual scripting takes away one of those barriers, which means it's a little bit easier to go from zero to making a game. And finally, for my personal recommendation, I really like Unity. I used Playmaker to make Perfect Date and also to make bazillions of other prototypes I never finished. After using Playmaker for four years, I've actually made the jump back into C Sharp which has actually opened many more doors in terms of what I can create. I've found optimising my games much easier in C Sharp than in Visual Scripting as I have full access to the code so I can do things in more efficient ways. If you plan to work in a studio one day, I'd probably suggest Unity or Unreal because those two seem to be the professional standard. Unity has the advantage over Unreal for 2D games, but Unreal has the advantage over Unity because the games always look fantastic. If you don't want to work in a studio and you just want to make games yourself, pick whichever one you like. And that's it, so if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please subscribe and turn on notifications for the next one. If you have any questions or advice yourself or want to talk about anything that I mentioned in this video, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching, bye!